forgive me, Father, for I have sinned. I've had sinful thoughts. I'm listening. What is this about? Sometimes things happen that are hard to live through. But we must remember, God does not see the things the way we do. And it can happen that when something sad, difficult, or even tragic happens to us, Yeah. Call and make an appointment with this friend of mine. She's a psychologist and she's created a support group for parents who find themselves in a similar situation. Thank you, Father. You'll find her helpful. I'm sure of it. Receive my blessing. Fatima, what do you know what to do? I was in charge of accounting, correspondence, and some secretarial duties. And I also helped the children with the schoolwork. And I imagine you speak Arabic, English, and Italian? Yes, and French. I was born in Morocco. So maybe I'll be able to offer you a job. It's nothing extraordinary, and the pay is modest. But the hours are flexible. Of course, that goes without saying. Thank you. So now. I will leave you, and we'll speak soon. So, Fatima, how was your first day at work? I'd say it went splendidly, Father. She trusted in God. She put herself into his hands. How I wish I could do that, too. Maybe you, you need to learn to pray, Fatima. Prayer is the balsam of the soul, no matter which religion you belong to. And when we pray, we offer God our heart. Good morning. Good morning. Can I help you? Yeah, I think so, Father. Come. Thank you. I met her in the support group run by Dr. Fortis. Of course. I know Angela. Is she okay? Yeah, Angela is. Her son, Sean, was killed by jihadists. First, he lied to him. Um, making him believe he was coming back to Europe. Then they shot him. Poor boy and poor Angela. I mean, when did this happen? Three days ago. But maybe it's not him. Where is he now? In Syria. A journalist friend of mine managed to pay off the right people to have the body cremated. In nomine Patris et Filii et Spiritus Sancti. 